Hey guys, welcome to Lit by Lily. Today I'm bringing you a highly requested recipe, which is my seafood macaroni and cheese. My very first day of TikTok, I posted a video of this macaroni and cheese and it went viral. Stay tuned so you can see how I made it. Macaroni and cheese is a highly controversial dish. However, I'm going to show you what I prefer. I'll also be revealing to you my secret ingredient. Now right here, I have almost two pounds of snow crabs. I'll be using pre-cooked jumbo shrimp. So please pay attention to how I incorporate this shrimp into the recipe without overcooking it. Now here I have eight ounces of crab claw meat. One pound of elbow noodles. Some chicken broth or chicken base, whichever you prefer. You're gonna need heavy whipping cream or half and half. You can even use evaporated milk or whole milk. Paprika. Tony's Creole seasoning or Old Bay. Now, if you want outstanding flavor in any mac and cheese, add cream of chicken. Now, you know you gotta have black pepper. Gotta have some garlic as well. I suggest unsalted butter since sodium is in so many of the other ingredients in this recipe. You will need cream cheese. And since we will be making a roux, you will need some flour. Here I've grated eight ounces of mozzarella cheese. I've also grated eight ounces of mild cheddar. And what you see here is part of the struggle of being left-handed. At all costs, please, please, please avoid pre-shredded bag cheese. The cheese comes with a film on top of it, some kind of chemical that the manufacturers put onto the cheese, and that prevents the cheese from adhering to the elbow noodles. So try your best to get block cheese or, you know, any kind of cheese that, any kind of cheese except the shredded bag cheese, please. I make my elbow noodles in half water and half chicken broth to season the noodles. Here, I'm just cracking down these crab legs and getting all the good stuff out of them. The options with this recipe are endless. You can use scallops, you can use another type of crab, you can even use lobster. So incorporate what you like. Now, once you have your chicken broth and water to a nice boil, you wanna add in your noodles. You also wanna make sure that you're stirring occasionally to keep the noodles from sticking together. With this particular noodle, you don't have to add oil, but you do wanna stir consistently. Now I'm moving over to the crab claw meat. I will be draining it before I add it to the snow crabs that I've cracked open because I don't want any extra liquid. We don't want any excess water. Use lump crab if you'd like, just don't use that little blue package of crab. Here, I'll be seasoning my crab meat. I'll be using Tony's, but you're more than welcome to use Old Bay. I'll be using garlic and black pepper. You wanna make sure you mix it in real good so we can get all that flavor in there. Next, I'll be seasoning my pre-cooked shrimp with the exact same seasonings. Now we're moving on to the roux. You wanna melt half a stick of butter. Next, you'll add flour. You wanna get this mixture to a paste-like consistency. 
I've seen many people burn up Baru. Please keep your utensil moving during this process. Next, I added evaporated milk. You can also use whole milk. Whichever you prefer is fine. Shortly after, I came behind that with some heavy whipping cream. But guess what I did? I kept stirring, so please keep stirring. Now you want this consistency to be much thicker than the roux, but you don't want it to be too thick because you'll be adding the cheese in shortly. Next, I added in the cheese I grated earlier, you know, the left-handed struggle grated cheese. But I'm gonna keep this utensil moving so this cheese can melt down and create a nice creamy sauce but not before i add what i think is the most important ingredient of them all cream of chicken don't forget the cream cheese Now you gotta come through there with some black pepper, paprika, and some garlic. Now this is how I like my sauce, smooth and creamy. Now watch what happens when we add the noodles. Do you hear that? That is how macaroni and cheese is supposed to sound. I went back in and added more blocks of cheddar, as you can see, the sharp cheddar. You're welcome to do the same. Good to go. Now here I have my casserole dish all buttered down so my noodles won't stick. Now after going in with my first layer of macaroni and cheese, I'm coming through with the crab meat. I'm gonna spread it all out. Now I'm coming in with my second layer of macaroni and cheese right before I put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
After baking this macaroni and cheese for 20 minutes, I've pulled it out the oven. Now it's time to incorporate the shrimp. We're going to place it back in the oven for 7 minutes so the shrimp can cook. You don't want to overcook shrimp, so we've incorporated the shrimp at the end. Parsley, paprika, and black pepper. This dish was an absolute hit. The holidays are right around the corner. Go ahead and add it to your menu and see what happens. One thing about it, two things for sure. People always got their opinion about how they like their mac and cheese. But don't tell me what yours is, because this is how I like it. <laughs>